Hello. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. That's what we say at Long Reach Bioscience. Good morning, everyone. Um, let's wait for a few people to join us in to be part of this live broadcast. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our sales training on a Wednesday. Let me just try and connect everyone. Let me just try and connect everyone. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Welcome once again to our sales training on the Long Reach Live Network TV. My sincere apologies for the delay. You know, sometimes when the, the, the web or the internet says no, it says no. <laughs> so we were just having a bit of trouble connecting um, to you guys. So let's go ahead and share on our live, on our statuses and share with our friends and family. Invite them, let them know that we are here. I'm sure some of them have probably given up, given up that we, we won't be having the training today. So if you can kindly go ahead and share on your statuses, share on your WhatsApps, on your Facebook, all your social uh, platforms. Let everyone know that we are here. Hello, Tanya. Good to see you. Welcome, Elena. Good to see you. Chidima, welcome. It's so great to see you from Nigeria, from Lom Toho. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead and share with everyone and let them know that we are live on our Long Reach Network TV. Um, it is now 10 minutes after seven. We normally start at seven. Some have probably maybe given up. They thought we're not doing the training tonight. I was also, you know, <laughs> disturbed a bit, you know, with this with this um, connection, but I'm happy we are connected. Um, I'm happy we are here and I'm happy that we are going to share, um, you know, with each other the, the ways of succeeding or the ways of uh, bettering our sales processes within the long reach business platform welcome Katie. welcome everyone go ahead and share on your statuses i'm going to give it about two or three minutes then we can go or even one minute because we are already running behind schedule so i'm going to give it just uh you know one minute to have a few more people let me also do that and share on my um you know on my on my page on facebook to share with everyone, let them know that we are here, we are live, we are doing this, we are getting empowered, we are, you know, uh, doing this together. Uh, let me just uh, quickly do that. Okay. All right. If anyone is here that's my friend on my Facebook, please go ahead and tag me so that the people on my wall can actually see it. I'm now struggling using my other device to connect onto my platform, um, onto my Facebook page. So tonight or today, we're going to be talking about cold calling. I'm sure this is exciting for you guys because a lot of people that have just joined into the sales processes, this is something that they always struggle with. And I thought today, you know, since we've been tackling the customer, you know, how to deal with the customer, um, you know, in terms of customer service. So tonight we're going to be focusing on actually initiating the call, you know, contacting people that did not come to you or people that did not want your services and, uh, you know, share the different guidelines on how you can actually um, improve on, on yourself or you can actually be able to take the step to actually do the cold calling or to contact those um, customers. Hi, Beth. Welcome. Listening from Boltzbeck. Welcome, Betty. Hi, Annie from Zambia. You haven't missed much. We just started. Go ahead and share on your channels, on your Facebook, or all your social media platforms that we are live, we are here. As I was saying, yes, we are talking about cold calling tonight. Um, this is very exciting because it's something, it's one aspect that actually needs training from you. You know, you can never say that you've mastered it. And as I always say, with anything on the sales process, once you start doing something over and over again, you get the hang of things. And when you are getting those no's or not yet, you just know it's nothing personal. They're not directed to you, but directed to what you have to offer. So that way you don't give up. You pull up your socks and then you go again. Because when you get uh, to a no, this is what I always say to myself, a no is always a step closer to a yes. So unfortunately, not every person you contact 
is going to say yes. You have to get through those no's. So the quicker you get through those no's, the better for you because you're going to be getting to the yes. All right. So there's three most important parts of the cold calling, right? So the three most important parts of the cold calling, that will be your open lines, your opening lines. How are, what is it that you are saying? How are you opening the conversation with, 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 the, with the customer? And then also the other thing that we look at is the power questions. The questions that you ask, you know, while you are busy with your sales process or while you're busy with your cold calling. And then also the power statement. What makes you unique? What makes you stand out? What makes, you know, the customer want to actually get your product? So all of these, they, they help or allow you to gather as much information needed to determine the prospect's real needs. Remember, when you are doing cold calling this person has not contacted you you are the person that's initiating the sale or hoping to get a sale from the interaction with the customer so those three things are the most deep, um, important parts of the cold calling your opening lines how are you breaking the eyes how are you getting the attention of your customer or your prospect and then the other thing that we spoke about is the power of questions what are the kind of questions that you are asking from your customer and then also also, the other one would be your power statements. And all these three, they help you or allow you to gather as much information needed to determine exactly what the prospect needs, all right? And then there's two more parts or two more aspects that you would also need to focus on when you're doing the cold calling. It would be your attitude and it will be the focus. Because your attitude, you know, the positive attitude that you give, it will impact the, 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 the prospect. It will impact the edge or the entire sales process and also if you are focused you know um it, it permits you to use your skills to create action right because when you when you're contacting a person or when you're doing that first contact be it um on a personal level be it telephonically there's there must be um a desire or there must be a goal that you are trying to achieve so by you focusing on exactly that focusing on the step to get you exactly what you want this is going to um help you or it, it permits you to use your skill to create action or to create response from the client now um having said all of that cold calling is not easy at all right actually it, i would i would i would think it is the most difficult part part of the sales process um i don't know if you guys you've heard of the cliche where it says that the hardest part or the the um uh, the hardest door that a salesman can open it's a, a, a car a, a car's door or a door to um to uh to a car you know it is that difficult you know if you don't have a key to actually open it it, it, that is exactly what is happening with the cold calling. So tonight, I want to empower you. I want to share the different guidelines that you can use in order for you to, to, to be able to have, you know, the positive or the correct or the right attitude uh, um, to be able to focus, the, uh, to, to um, be able to interact or to speak to the client, all right? So the... Um, there are a few basic elements that uh, that a cold calling is compromised of, all right? So um, the few things that we need to focus on, one of the things you need to say a few words, right? We've spoken about this when we, are, we were talking also in the sales process. You know, we, we spoke about you not having to say a lot, but saying few, you know? So say few, be on the point. It really helps to be on the point with the customer. And then also you need to ask the power questions, you know, to create a meaningful dialogue. Your dialogue must be, um, must be, must be, must hold, must have weight, you know? So the questions that you ask, it, 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 um, they're going to determine you right, uh, how meaningful the, the, the dialogue would be between you and your customer. And also, um, we said you make power statements. When you're making power statements, you establish credibility. You know, is this worth it? Um, where is this going to go? The sales process is actually going to help you to determine where are you going with the customer. Remember, we said you, people don't like 
to be sold to, they like to buy, but they don't like to be sold to. So what are the power statements that you are emphasizing on or that you are pointing out, you know, about yourself or about the company or about the business opportunity that you have that you're about to present? And then also qualify the prospect as to need, you know, that is, uh, I've spoken about this the other day on the group, you know, the desire, the decision making capability and the money. You know, when you're talking to, to, to someone, especially when you're trying to introduce a business opportunity, this is something that I've found as well within myself as I'm doing the business. When you are approaching a married woman, it is very important for you to know more about the husband. It is very important for you to know about um, who's making the money, who's the decision maker in the house. Because when you're discussing, um, when you're discussing with the partner, right? Maybe the, the, the wife in the absence of the husband or the husband in the absence of the wife, I can guarantee you now the response that you're going to get is, oh, I have heard, let me go uh, let me go discuss it with my husband or let me go discuss it with my wife. So this is what I want you to, uh, to uh, for you guys to actually pay attention on. And I've seen it working with him. There are signs, there are things to look out for, uh, for you to know if uh, to establish uh, and you for you to know if a cell, um, if the, your prospect is a married person or is in a, a business or in a company with someone like a married um, a ring on the, on the finger will determine if this person is, is, is involved with someone when you are doing that not only it's not you being nosy but you're cutting out the i'll come back to you maybe give me a call maybe let me speak to them or you know you're cutting all of that then you set up the appointment with the both of them right so this is what we said about the opening lines your opening line you're speaking to this prospect the prospect you've realized it's a married wife um then you approach them this is the business i've got a business opportunity that i would like to present to you um i don't know when it would best for me to speak to you and your husband to be direct that's what it is it is what it is and then you're going to see by the response that they are giving you as to what is the next question to probe do you understand what I'm saying? So it's very important. And also gather information. I've spoken about this a lot. When you are going to a place, be it you are seeing someone or be it on a sales call, be in control. You need to be prepared. When you are prepared and you've got all the information, it comes out or it flows down onto your attitude, how you present yourself. And that way you're not easily distracted. That way you're not easily derailed from the goal that you are trying to achieve at that particular time. And and then also get what you came for. Remember when we started these trainings, I said, I've learned so much. I've done sales so much that I've learned to ask why until a customer cannot give me a reason anymore. So your prime goal, it must be for you to get what you came for. Why did I pick up this call? Was it because of my phone? Was it because I wanted to get an appointment? Make sure by the time you get off that phone, you've gotten an appointment, all right? If a person, um, let's say now you've got someone off guard, all right? You didn't do enough, um, enough, um, what is this, enough preparation in terms of what is the right time to call them and all of that. Now you call the person. You call the person and they tell you, ah, you, you caught me off guard. I'm busy now. I would like, to, um, you can please call me later. You as a salesperson, what is it that you're trying to achieve? It's either a sale or an appointment. So why are you putting your phone down? The next thing that you should be saying as a salesperson, what would be the right or the appropriate time for me to call you? Well, three or four o'clock work for you. Remember we said when you are selling, you must always offer uh, uh, um, um, choices for the for the customer or for your client to choose from so when you are you already planting it's either going to be three or four o'clock i can guarantee you now they're going to choose one of that if they don't choose one of that they're going to give you the time that you need to call them say value on the comment box if i'm adding value onto you tonight we are talking cold calling we are talking sales processes we are talking um you know cold calling as i've said and i will i will 
go um i will go ahead and discuss the basic elements with you this is just a few that i was i was sharing with you guys if i'm adding value to yourself right now type value on the comment box type a value on the comment box so that i can see that i'm not leaving you behind leaders as i've said as i've been saying we've been crawling we've been crawling we've been getting prepared to fly i want us to produce you know the a class the a class sales people the a class network marketers and there is not going to be a shortcut to that we have to learn even the not so nice parts there are trainings that i don't really like but i'm learning them i'm there i'm showing up because i want to empower myself you know if i say i want the a class to give my customers the a class treatment then everything about me should be the a class all right thank you so much for those who have commented um we can move right along now we're going to talk about the, the the several um elements or the the guidelines or the ideas whatever you want to call it you know things that they're going to help you um to be more effective on your on your cold calling all right now we've spoken about the opening lines that they are so important when you are contacting someone the reason we say that you need to know something about them before you speak to them it will also help you break the ice it will also help you break the ice let's say for instance um um, um, I'm trying to think of a quick example that I can make. Let's say you're coming in, you're meeting someone at a hotel. It's very cold, um, you know, um, they find you sitting there, you know, the, you can break an ice by having, obviously you're going to have your products there, leaders, when we're meeting prospects, always be visible, you know, even to the person sitting next to you guys. You can have your coffee right there, even though you're ordering um, the coffee from, from um from from the restaurant where you're meeting the person so for you you can break the ice by saying how i wish they would sell the cordyceps coffee or something like that you know um and, and obviously the person will say yeah it's cold or whatever you know then that will be your take off point you know uh, of your converse on of your conversation it without you even realizing it you're going to start talking about the coffee how um the the coffee how nice it is or what are the what are the benefits of having the cordyceps coffee even for you before starting the actual um discussion while you are meeting the person that helps you to actually be calmer that helps you to actually be in control that helps you to actually be in in, in um you know in in control of the actual of the actual meeting with you with the customer so always have um the opening lines that are uh, that are gonna add value or determine you know that are gonna determine what kind of a meeting that you're gonna have with your prospects and then also opening impressions they are important we've spoken about this we've spoken about this you can't talk millions and look like a, a 50 cent <laughs> you can't talk millions and and you look like a 50 cent always be presentable there's there's something that i've always said and this is something that i've seen the, you know when you would get to a home a home um it's not a double story house it's 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 a shack let's call it a shack as long as it is clean as long as it is clean it is inviting it is welcoming so when we are saying don't look like a like a 50 cent look like a million dollar you don't have to wear branded clothes or you know just be clean just be professional you can wear your five friend tie your five friend shirts your five friend jackets your five friend you can even wear your your long reach gear you know you can wear your long reach gear that way you'll be connect, you'll be communicating how 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 strongly you feel about your brand you'll be communicating the passion that you have about the business that you 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 want to bring onto the table so when you are when you are meeting a client opening impressions they are important as much as you are prepared with your with your documents with your with your lines you know with your script or whatever that you're going to be pitching to the customer always look presentable and also are you deliver after you deliver the opener make the prospect think right remember we said um power questions power questions right you give them time to actually think you know how you would do that let's say you're inviting someone to actually sign onto onto your business um you can give them something like um I'm trying to think of an example how bad is the how bad is the rate of of the unemployment in in, in South Africa have you seen that you know you you derailing you still 
you're still in the business because that's where you are actually saying, hey, multiple streams of income is a need. Multiple streams of income is a need. The one thing that I have been personally scared of was to actually meet people in person. Believe it or not, guys, as talkative as I am, as bubbly as I am, to meet someone, um, you know, for, for, for a, a meeting in terms of, of um, you know, a prospect in terms of explaining my business, that, that has been my weakest point. And it's something that I'm learning. I'm more of a cell phone or of a phone person because I'm a type of a salesperson that by the time I meet up with you, then it should just be an exchange of a product and me elaborating on what we've agreed on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So for me, I've always been a person that would like to speak to you over the phone, um, close you over the phone for the lack of a better word, you know, have a deal, having you sign. If you see most of my people, I can show you their sign without me meeting them in person. All right. I practiced that because that's not a skill that I was born with. It's something that I've practiced. It's something that I've done. And as a matter of effect, I know once I touch my phone, it's either a sale or it's either a sign up. So now, remember we said when we were dealing we were talking about the customers that customers now they want interaction they want more than just the service they want add-ons you know so the meeting part it is of value it is of important into your sales processes especially if someone is in the same time make time make time to meet your clients you know and that is something that is going to need practice as well and the only way you're going to get it right is just by doing it there's a saying or there's something that people always say and um, which my SD also taught me in the past and I actually realized it as I get along in my business when you are bringing a business opportunity to people you know they usually 10 out of 10 times they, or 9 out of 10 times they don't know much about it they don't know in depth what it's about they know it's about um, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's a network marketing company. They deal with products, and they don't know exactly what they what, what they're talking about. You know, they don't exactly what know what you are about. So fumble, fumble, saying the truth. Don't lie. Don't shy away from the truth. Fumble, saying the truth. That way you're getting practice. By the time you leave that appointment, if it was a no, but make sure you're getting the date. When they're saying come back in three months, which three months in December? If they're saying month end, tell them, oh, a lot of people, their month end is the 21st. Will the 30th work for you? Or which month end do you mean? When is your month end? 15th, 20th, 25th? Do you understand? So so the meeting, meeting part, it is of great value. Um, you know, we need we need to 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 get used to it. You know, it's something as well that I'm coming out of. It's uh, you know, it's definitely not in my comfort zone, but I'm practicing it. I'm doing it because by the time you know you're showing up, you you you've got a positive attitude. You focus. You know, you're presentable, and then whatever you're gonna say there, you know, it's gonna help you in actually closing the deal. And not only that, it's showing the people how important or how highly you are taking off. Your your business type value yes and go the meeting part is of great value yes exactly go ahead and type of great value or value if i'm adding value to you we're still going to carry on we're still going to carry on we are discussing the several cold um calling elements or the guidelines or the ideas if i'm adding value to your business or to how you've been looking or taking your business this is the time for you to type value on the comment box i want to know that i am still with you and we are still doing this together all right one of the other things or one of the elements that you need to look at is getting to the point fast getting to the point fast fast you've had your opening line you've broken the ice now why am i here right people have got things to do people have got people to see so you don't waste time you know and this is something leaders that i want to talk to you about as well when i'm saying leaders i'm talking general to everyone even when doing presentations presentations at their halls, at hotels, at wherever. A starting time is a starting time. You start even if there's two or three people. You start even if there's two or three people. I've experienced on my previous, so remember I said I'm learning with experiences as well. I started late on my presentation. And what about the person that has been there on time? What about the person that was there? If you say, because there are people that are really time cautious. If you're saying two o'clock, they'll be dead 10 minutes before two. What are those people? You need to respect them. 
all right you need to respect them so it's exactly the same thing get to the point to the point fast why are you here you know after the presentation after you've done then you will have the open uh, the, the the open in, uh, the open time for questions you know same applies as to the presentation that you'll be doing to a big forum to uh, you know a number of people you'll be able to have questions for people that have missed part uh, have missed the first part they can interact with you and it's even much better now because you've got their full attention they also have got your full attention so when you want to start um when when you have set time an appointment it is very important to stick to the time it is very important to get to the point first the prospect is busy and will be unsettled you know they'll be they can get very uh, agitated or they'll be insulted if you beat around the bush or oh, have you heard do you know about or oh, this oh no cut it out cut it out cut it out cut it out straight to the point why you are there all right and then if you are asked a price if you are asked a price give it immediately <laughs> this is something as well that I have been working on. This is something as well that I have personally been working on. Now, here's the thing, right? When someone is asking you, and I'm getting better at it because I'm saying it all the time because I, I want to excel in it. So when you are asked, so how much is it to join? How much do you say how much is it to join? Right? So for me personally, I would say, um, okay, the one important thing, the one important aspect um, that I would always point out is free to join. But obviously, you know, talking about being free, then sign me up. I'm your business partner. At the end of the day, the reality is there's money that needs to be paid in. I I hope this is not too loud for you leaders. I'm at a public place, um, you know, uh, uh, trying to find a place to actually do this, this training. Excuse if there is a noise and I hope you can hear me. If you can hear me nicely, please do say on the comment box. All right, as I was saying, when, when, you, uh, when you are asked the price, give it immediately, right? So how much is it to join? There is no joining fee. You just need to purchase the product. You can purchase the product of any amount up to 27,000. What am I doing now to the client or up to 30,000? What am I doing now to the client when I'm saying of any amount, right? Let's say now I wasn't prepared enough. I didn't know what my client, um, my, 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 my client's affordability line, you know, when I'm saying from any amount i'm already trying to say okay i'm thinking i've got a promo for 130 where a person can start with 130 and sign their 12 people and they'll be a member all right and okay what if this person is an investor i must mention the thirty thousand. so they need to know they have the flexibility they have the thank you leaders they have the flexibility of starting with any amount right only after that after you have given the pricing you will say we've got four different types of memberships it's the silver it's the gold it's the platinum and it's a platinum vip let me show you why it's important for you that whatever man this is when i i elaborate now why let me show you why it's important for you to not just with to not just start with the little <coughs> sorry the little is going to give you a little back all right sorry <coughs> the little is going to give you a little back what is it that you are trying to achieve here mr customer do you want to be an investor do you want just to focus on selling do you want to be a distributor do you want to be a stockist you know then that's when you lay it out and a lot of people by doing that they they i don't know why but they they like to start with five thousand five thousand or if they really do, they don't have money they would say okay please please mix for me you know for 2.5 or whatever you know without you having to give them the exact amount so people they like to remember what i've always said as a salesperson you always need to make the prospect feel like they're in control you always need to make them feel like they're in control whereas you're the one that's that's driving the bus so once you give them that, you give them the amount, you know, you, without you uttering it, you said from any amount up to 30,000. What, what have you done? Remember what we said about giving two choices? You've planted the 30,000, you've planted the 27,000. Now they're thinking, mm, if I'm going really less, especially if they've got money, if I'm going really less, ah, let me start with 5,000. Do you understand? And you've won. You've won, leaders. I've seen it happening time and time and again. And this is what also has happened. If I've signed someone on, on um, uh, 
what is this like on an each scratching and each you know they they want to they're interested in the business and i sign them up with 600 rands or whatever i let them sign like today i signed up someone uh, they just wanted um paint liners and and the pads and i said no you can start with them you know because they were like oh 1.9 and you could tell that this person doesn't have they live off selling as well in the streets i said 600 and whatnot okay fine she came 550 gave her the day pads gave her the paint liners i thought okay i'm gonna add on with my stock that i'm ordering and give her 60 pvs to be a member do you know that after that after the money exchange after the filling in of the form after everything then i said with her i said okay this is how my business works not that you have done um not that you have done something wrong not that you have done you know what is not done by starting with this amount this is the range of the products that i have this is what the business entails this is what you can benefit and you know what was the answer? Okay, on Friday, I'll have more money. Let me at least top up to have the 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 the, the, the 1.9 to have the 60 points. What have I done, the leaders? So sometimes when something that I've shared with you as well, I'm 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 talking a lot on this point because it's very important to get to the point first. What I'm trying to elaborate or explain here, I shared the other day that when someone comes to you wanting to buy sell to them don't waste time it's about getting to the point first they showed you the binding signal they've asked you about the pets you sell pets give to them i do get people that they will say yo i was which means Yo, you in a hurry. No, I haven't decided. Then I know, okay, I need to slow down. Then that's when I do my qualifying um, questions. Okay, so when will you be ready? Will this month end work for you? What day do you get paid? What is it dependent on? Do you have someone that you need to consult with for you to make the decision? You know, and I'm going to keep doing these things until I master them, you know, until i become the best networker because that's what i want to be i want to be the best network marketer you know so it takes practice it takes a persistence it takes not only hard work but you have to to actually do it you have to actually apply for you to say you know what now i can classify myself as an a class all right hi simisola welcome all the way from america all right and then the other thing is determine what your prospect needs which is what I just touched on now. You know, determine what your pro, uh, your prospect needs by understanding the problems of their operation to their vanity. You know, determining what the customer needs and finding, you know, their, their hot button, exactly what I just said. Do you want to be an investor? Do you want to be just to sell? Do you want, and, and, and once they tell you and they are direct, I want to focus on selling, give them the, the selling structure or the selling or, or you know how do how do they become a pro in selling in the business and once they start doing it i've had people as well um that are in the sales market in our sales business um already uh, in our in our business long reach network marketing business where they've started only as sales people as selling the product which is i think i'm also one of them and where they they really were interested now they've mastered or they they've mastered for the lack of a better word um the selling processes now they can make money now they're making their three thousand weekly or whatever you know what however much that they make now they want to understand how do i actually end i see you sdz um <laughs> yes i'm giving myself that title we are all sds here that's where we're reaching to um okay so um they would say I've seen you posting your weekly payments. How do I actually end? Because remember, some people, they take time to grasp the information. When you are giving like a whole lot of information at once, you know, they they uh, they truly or honestly just going to focus on why they actually contacted you. Or they're going to focus on a point where, where, where it, 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 you know, where they had their aha moment when you said it. You know, that's that's where they're going to focus. If it was selling, they would sell. If it was um, a stockist or whatever, they're just going to focus on that. So you need to actually help and groom them in that in their point of focus. And then that way they are able to grow themselves into the business. Don't put pressure on people, leaders. People join the business for their own reasons, not your reasons. All right. Okay. And then the other aspects. People will resist you. 
we've spoken about this a lot a lot of times right it takes seven exposures or seven tries to get the prospect to actually become your customer so what does that say does the bell it does it ring a bell what does that say to you are your lights on now it takes seven tries right or it takes seven exposures to the prospect now this is now if if you would do a sales process you know correctly it will take them you talking about it seven times or you showing up the exposure or showing their thing um you know showing your business of your business seven times for them to actually become your customer what does what does this say to you we've spoken about it it means follow-ups tap type follow-ups on the comment box follow-ups are crucial follow-ups are important follow-ups we do all the time even when we're posting on our statuses even when we're posting on our facebook even linkedin um you know all the social platforms we are communicating to our, our customers they must keep on seeing you they must keep on seeing the good things about your business they must keep on you know um especially those who follow you that way they are still processing uh, you know can is the time now can i really make the decision that's why sometimes you would actually get people that you've spoken to three months back they've spoken to them three months back some some even a year back and then they just say now i'm ready it's it doesn't mean they only just had money now no they've been having money to join but your consistency you showing up you following up the exposure of your brand the exposure of your business the great things that you're sharing with them they're actually making them interested you are attracting them onto your business so it is very very important right and no simply means not yet they are not saying no to you but to the opportunity chin up you know and 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 show up all right and then also you need when you uh there's another one you will buy uh, you will buy to solve a business problem or satisfy a need. Remember, I said this, right? This is still on cold calling, but I've mentioned it on the customer care, the customer um, satisfaction index, and the customer, um, you know, the customer um, uh, satisfaction and all of that. Remember, I mentioned it that um, we are not order takers. I refuse. If you are here and you've been an order taker, quit it, stop it now stop now we are solution uh givers we are problem solvers all right so we need to come out or contact people as really really interested in their actual problem that they wanting to solve that way you will sell more that way you will get more referrals that way people will want to partner with you all right so, so show interest you are a solver problem you are a problem solver sorry you are a problem solver you bring about solutions to the problem that's how we need to treat our clients daily in exchange and you can see like when a salesperson is just interested um, in the exchange of money remember I said to you I even got to a point in my sales career where I don't refer to my customers as customers I refer to them as clients because I am interested in building relationships with them, all right? So I hope you got that. And then also, you need to gain um, the buyer confidence. You gain the buyer's confidence. You use every weapon that you have. When we're saying weapons, like, you know, you know every weapon that you have in your sales tool be it your testimony be it i use other sds a lot or other leaders in our in our team a lot um and and I, I, depending you gauge your customer you gauge your customer you can't want to me uh let's say i am um I don't want to i don't want to sound like I'm, I'm i'm looking down or talking down of other professions but yes we can't all be uh, there's a reason there's levels so i'm going to choose on the, on this particular one. Oh my gosh which one do i choose on <laughs> now i'm even scared to choose on this uh make an example with this okay let's say i'm a car guard right i'm a car guard i make tips of about 100 rand a day i make my 500 rands or even um you know let's say a thousand a week i make a thousand a week and um you know i make my four thousand a month right and then you want to approach me about the business right 
you haven't done your homework you see why it's important to be to be prepared because i could be a kakad but i've got my my husband or my partner that's sponsoring me 50k a month <laughs> whatever that means but anyway so let's say this is my only stream of income right you come to me you want to tell me about the business and then you tell me did you know you can make a million there is an sd vivian mukome she owns this this how am i going to buy into what you are saying as true as it is is it does it not gonna, is it not going to sound too good to be true you know so that is why it's important for you to gauge your customers when you are looking for every weapon that you've got in your sales tool um where you want to make referrals you know onto your people or onto or, you know choose choose someone that is that is off the level no i'm not down talking i hope you understand what i'm trying to say i'm not down talking hey, everyone we we're definitely not in the same place in the business you know so use someone that you can make a reference to you know it's the same thing as uh, i was saying um the example that i made previously where the sd you know i look all scruffy and whatnot and i wanted to go to uh, do presentations and then she said how are you going to go dress like that looking like that and you're talking millions so it's exactly the same thing you need to look the part so it's the same thing as you as you uh, um approaching your customers same thing when you're approaching an 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 old lady you know that is maybe in their in their 60s or whatever you can be telling them about uh period pains you know um you know this is what our pet does yes do you know maybe they don't even have a daughter so it's exactly the same thing with you um with you talking to the customer so you need to always gain the customer's confidence by staying relevant to them by also give um examples or make reference to to uh to to uh, uh make reference to examples or to people that your customer can relate to you're approaching a businessman go ahead talk about mr sean talk about you know um you know whoever you know that is in the business that is already established you know that is already done and also quoting people that are that are in in america what is going to do what is it going to do for you and you are in south africa you know and you are pitching the business to someone in south africa so if you're talking to someone in nigeria try and find the people relevant you follow this person on your on social media you sing how what is it that they're trying to do you know and you sing how they the, the, you know how the person presents themselves then you are able to actually say okay I know Lida Newa in Botswana. She can take good, very good care of this client, you know, or something like that. All right. And then also your attitude. We've spoken about the attitude. We've spoken about humor. We've spoken about action. This will help you to whip your fears. When you are well prepared, you are confident in what you're going to say, and you are persistent, you're ready to give, you know, your your, your full presentation. This is going to help you, um, you know, to, to whip the fears, you know, the fears and, and the rejection. You won't be scared of it because you'll be in control you'll be driving the bus all right you'll be driving the bus you are in control so once you are prepared and once you've got all these aspects then you are able to actually break through to your client if your client rejects you again i'm saying it i'm saying it over and over again because i want it to sink to you because this is the most reason a lot of people are scared to actually do the first contact or to actually the cold calling when they are saying no it is their loss they simply mean not now all you need to do is to show up you know is to show up to them until you get what you want all right and then the other thing we've spoken about this one as well and it's also important on the cold um cold calling you know what guys what i love about sales sales is fun the processes are the same but the timing is important so if you're wanting to sell a toothpaste now to someone all these stages they need to happen like in that first five minutes that you've contacted the person if you want to close a person for or you want to gain yourself a business partner same sales process you follow if you are doing cold calling same sales process you follow but it's just the timing it's just the type of the questionnaire that you ask so it is very important that whenever i give trainings no matter how much you think it's a repetitive always look okay how can i apply it how can I apply it in this scenario? How can I apply it in this problem? You know, that way you become an expert. All right. When we are saying you set your goals that you're wanting to achieve, guys, it can be in the morning leaders. You've told yourself, I want to sell 10 toothpaste today. That is your goal for today. 
goal today is to sell 10 toothpaste. You're going to go through these sales processes probably a hundred times for you to sell 10 toothpaste. It depends how good you are. Right, it depends how you're applying your 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 sales processes, and and I've heard people they would say, ah, but it's different in our country. It's different because of A B C D. Our why are we reading books that are international if it's different? It is no different. It is no different. We are doing exactly the same thing. But it, what matters is how you do it. What matters is you becoming the expertise, you know, in, in, in that segment, in that, um, you know, in, in whatever is it that you, you want to, 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 to focus on. And by you practicing, by you applying, apply, 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 by you doing that, you're actually polishing yourself. You're actually preparing yourself to, to, to take off, to fly, to soar. All right. All right. So when you're setting your goals, this I used to do as well when I used to, to sell uh, vehicles. I still do it now as well. I set my goals. I say, OK, this is what I want to achieve. And trust you me, it works. Trust you me, it works. If, if, if you put a number, there were times, there were times I haven't done it here yet. Actually, I've done it indirectly here. I'll tell you what I've done. And the other leader actually laughed at me when I showed her the picture. What I used to do and what I'm doing now, right? I used to get paid on monthly basis. On monthly basis, if there is a, a goal that I want to achieve, a goal that hits huge bucks that I want to achieve, I used to take a plain check. Please take this from me because it works. I used to take a plain check, get a plain check from my, from my boss at that time, when I still, uh, when I used to have a boss, and then I'd write my date. The date would be the month when I want to achieve this. Then I would write the amount that I want to earn. Then I would write the number of cars that I would have sold. Then I would write, okay, total deductions, and this is my net. And then I fold it, and then I put it in my diary. First page at 10 over, I put it in my diary. Now I'm working on today. Isn't it? I wrote it today. Then I start working. Then I start working. Then I start working. I finish working. I put, I close my diary, go home. Next morning, go back to my yesterday's work. What have I done? What are my follow ups? The minute I turn a page, voila, it's my, my, my planning for the day, my planning for the month, my planning, you know, my check, what I want to achieve. I look at my check. This is what I want to achieve. I close it. I put it again. In the next page, I work, I work, how far I am, how many people have I spoken to? I didn't close the sale yesterday. I've spoken to 15 people. I need to up my game. I need to speak to 20 people. I need to make sure I get 10 applications. I need to make sure that I get five approvals. I need to make sure that I get one delivery. That is a sales process. That is a sales process and make it fun. And as I always say, it is a numbers game. It is a numbers game because the more people you speak to, the more you get good at it, the more you get practice on it, and the more your ratio is going to close. If you, if it's gonna, it's gonna uh, get better. If you have started on 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 talking to twenty people and you get one sale, then it's gonna get better. Now you're gonna need to talk to fifteen people. Now you're gonna need to talk to ten people. All of a sudden, you need to talk to five people. All of a sudden, you need to talk to two people. You know that increases that increases the, the 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 your 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 end results. It's increasing your end results. So I want you to try it now. What I have done here at Longridge, right? At Longridge, what I have done. There's someone uh, a year back, right? Before just when we were having COVID or before COVID, they posted their 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 um what is this their um weekly their cash focus, right? I took that, I took that and then I pasted it on the roof of my bed, of my bedroom. Never mind that I'm all over now working, but that is the last thing I see before I go to sleep. And that is the first thing I see when I open. And can I tell you something, ladies? I won't give up until I end that much and more on a weekly basis. Because for me, it says, and think about it now logically, if I started the business and I was earning 200 rands, right? And I've increased from 200 rands. I'm now earning um, 250 rands. And then after 250 rands, 
I moved to 300 rands. Leaders, that is growth. Stop measuring your growth according to other people's journey, according to other people's paces, according to other people's way of doing the business. If you want a sustainable business or if you want to produce an A-class salesperson or an A-class network marketer, lay a stable foundation. It mustn't shovel. That's what we would say in Kosa. It, it mustn't move, you know. You mustn't be shaken because your goal is right there. Your vision is right there, you know. If you, if don't, don't measure yourself according to other people. And these are the things that you need or these are the elements or the guidelines or the ideas that you need to actually be putting practice onto. You actually need to be applying them, right, onto your businesses on daily basis daily daily basis because even when the storm comes even when the tribulation comes what are our tribulations what are our storms it's new network marketing businesses what are our tribulations is cheaper prices what are our new uh, our tribulations and storms is competitive products even when they come and can i tell you something they are going to come and many of them are still coming now, it is not by mistake that the people that we see being celebrated now as SDs or that are being celebrated now with 150,000 plus uh, PVs, when they are telling their story, they say, I started Long Reach five, um, five, five years ago. I started Long Reach four years ago. I started Long Reach. It is not by mistake. You will reach your destiny when the time is right keep doing or keep applying what you have learned and keep doing what is expected of you you will be rewarded so i need you leaders to focus we are talking about the element of cold calling cold calling is not easy as it is but it's a it's a, it's a most important aspect of the business because it gives you control it gives you focus it gives you you know you are in charge that way you even are able to control how many people you speak to a day because those people you don't wait for them to come to you you initiate conversations right you initiate conversations that exactly what cold, cold calling is it's about initiating conversations is about initiating businesses is about initiating you know business opportunities you know it's about initiating a sale that's what cold, cold calling is all right and then also um I've, I've shared with you now the, the the element of cold calling and i've said to you the three most important parts of the cold calling it's the opening lines what kind of questions do you ask um sorry the opening lines how do you break the ice how do you how do you make yourself comfortable in order for you to be able to pitch the business to the customer or to your client or to your prospect or your future business partner and then the second thing we said you ask power questions right power questions what is it that you would like to get gain from this let's say now someone has contacted you themselves what is it that you would like to gain from this you know get get the idea of why they're wanting to do this business you know, and once they give you, I want to sell, focus on that. You will come onto the breakdown of the business because too much information, actually people will lose you and they actually lose interest, you know, on your business. And then the other thing we spoke about power statements, you know, power statements about who you are, about your brand, about, about what, what long reach entails. You know, those are the three most um, important parts. And then we spoke about the other two parts, which is your attitude. It plays a huge role and also focusing, right? Focusing when you are focused on the end result of the journey or of the process that you are starting, you are not easily distracted. You don't derail from what, like me here now, I'm talking to you, I'm at an open um, hotel, I'm giving a presentation, there's a lot of noise, people walking up and down, but my goal, my goal for now, my goal for tonight was to present and deliver the best training. You know, my goal for tonight was to add value and I've, I know I've added value to someone. All right, so that way you're not easily distracted. You are focusing on your end, on, on the goal. 
you write your FOC, be it a short-term goal, be it a long-term goal, it is still your goal. All right? So, great leaders, I want to thank you so much for your time. Um, next week, I'm gonna, we're going to talk, we're going to carry on about cold calling. I've got now a system in place. When I say I'm going back to something, unless something is really hot, 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 it wants to, to chip in. I'll touch on it, but I will always revert, uh, revert uh, you know, go back to, to revert back to where we started. All right. So cold calling, we haven't finished it. This is these are the uh, important elements, the guidelines, the ideas. And remember, please, I urge you, I urge you, I urge you, put it into practice. Put it into practice. We are no different to uh, who name 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 them name them? <laughs> we are not we are not different to. Um, okay, the names they just ran me now. They just ran out of my mind now. So we we're not different to any successful people. There's there's ho actually a whole lot of successful network marketers or sales. We are no different. The only thing that we need to do is to just apply, practice. You know, let us not let us be 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 determined and let us know exactly what is it that we want to achieve and we just work work towards it. Even if it means you starting with selling one packet of pets, but if your vision is clear, if your goal is clear, you will be directed to your goal or to your vision. All right. Thank you so much. I want to read something to you. You know me and reading. Cold calling. Sales are fun, guys. We should be happy when we are attending these trainings. All right. You are now armed ne? with enough enough i know i haven't finished but i've given you quite quite a, a mouthful you are now armed with enough cold calling knowledge to choke a horse don't let it get to your throat <laughs> right don't let it get to your throat whatever you've taken in it mustn't come and stand here now release it apply it practice it all right Thank you so much, leaders. I love you so much. Thank you for your time. Go ahead and share with your teams for those that couldn't log on today. Share with them, you know, on, on the on, on their WhatsApps or whatever other groups or whatever medium you use to, to communicate with them. Uh, share with them this, this um, very powerful uh, and meaningful, uh, worthwhile, you know, all these good words, training. All right. Thank you so much. You must have yourself a great evening. And we'll see you again next week same time maybe a different place but yeah thank you so much leaders let's go and multiply <laughs>